Uh, I'm Pastor Terry from uh, Prairie District, or Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and I greet you in the name of the Lord. Uh, asked to speak on prophetic and apostolic foundations, and so as I thought about that, the Church of Jesus Christ, it says in Ephesians 2, was built on that foundation with Jesus Christ as the chief cornerstone. He's the cornerstone, he's the anchor, he's the root of everything that happens. And Jesus chose, Jesus chose 12 disciples, then the Holy Spirit, as the Holy Spirit decided on his own, gave gifts, gave, gave anointings to those different men to break open and start the church. And the church was planted on that foundation of giftings or anointings that poured out of Jesus. Jesus, the, the cornerstone to the apostles and prophets, and off they went. Well, come along into 1979, 1980, he chose originally those apostles and prophets. He chose another couple, say chosen. He chose another couple to receive that anointing, apostolic and prophetic anointing, to build something new. It was something old, but it was something new. It was another branch of the vine that was going to be built on the apostles and the prophets and the Holy Spirit chose to pour out on Dr. George, Dr. Hazel those anointings to set the captives free. Can somebody say amen? amen. And Dr. George definitely operates in an apostolic anointing. Now we know he's also prophetic but the primary anointing is apostolic or how else in 40 years could a movement be birthed in Lethbridge that went around the world. It was breakthrough apostolic anointing. Hallelujah. And Pastor Hazel is definitely, her main anointing is prophetic. Now she is apostolic, there is no doubt about that as well, but her primary anointing is prophetic. That's the way the Holy Spirit chose to pour out those anointings on this couple. Now those anointings are not owned by Dr. George and Dr. Hazel. They belong to God, the cornerstone, the root, the branch, the, he, he is the one who chose, say chose, and I'm thankful he chose my wife and I, and I'm thankful he chose you to be connected to this vine that he was building that we call Victory Churches. I don't know what I'm doing with this. They do not own the anointing, they were chosen by God to carry the anointing. And I'm thankful that we can walk in that same anointing. In the book of John, Jesus encouraged them, stay connected to the vine. Jesus is the root of the vine. He's the cornerstone. Everything flows out of Jesus. Jesus chose our leaders. You know, uh, about 15 years ago, I can't believe how much time goes and how quickly. Uh, a couple of us, we traveled from Moose Jaw at that time, drove across to Calgary because I was too cheap to pay the airfare to Calgary. Then we flew to Vancouver. We flew to... Who? It's still working. Flew to Vancouver, ended up in Bangkok. I don't know how many uh, hours later, no sleep. Then we, uh, the taxi driver got lost. We got no more sleep. And then Pastor Al shows up in a truck and he's, we're going to go overland into Vietnam. I am dog tired. It's probably been 35 hours since I slept. And in that time, Pastor Al was pushing that continuum. And somebody pushed a camera in my face. I'm driving in this truck, haven't slept in almost 40 hours. And a camera gets pushed in my face and said, so, what are you bringing for Vietnam? And a voice on my shoulder said, yeah, who are you anyway? What are you doing over here? You've got nothing. And something rose up inside of me, and I declared to them, I am a covenant member of an apostolic network of churches. I am under apostolic prophetic leaders. I flow in the same anointing that they flow in. They flow in the same anointing that the apostles flowed in. They flow in the same anointing that rose Jesus from the dead. And I am here to declare life to the captives. I am here to set the captives free, to break every yoke and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what I'm bringing here. I've got over a minute left. <laughs> Pastor Paul was preaching prophetically the other night in Victory Village and I saw a picture. 
And I'm going to quote a great songwriter. ba ba baby you just ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> and he was talking about the 40-year crossover into the promises. And I don't know if you've ever seen those little videos on YouTube where a guy on a, a, a mountain bike is at the top of a mountain and boom! Oh, he goes, scurries down the mountain, and it's all he can do to keep that bike upright. God brought that picture into my mind, and I thought, what is that about God? What is going on there? And then I saw a bunch of pastors pushing their, their, their mountain bikes up the dark side of a steep mountain, and they, they were working so hard, and they were working, they were doing everything right. They were giving it their all, and they just didn't seem to be getting any breakthrough. And then I saw some of the pastors cresting the hill, and things were getting easier in Lethbridge. Expansion, revival, and they were getting easier. But then the Lord showed me, it hasn't hit yet. It hasn't hit yet. And then the pastors and the churches started to roll over the other side of the mountain, and I'll tell you, your hard work, your labor, your anointing that comes from Jesus, when the favor of God hits, when revival hits, baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. Give the Lord a hand.